We are back and ready to explore Haunted Crypt. Uh, I think. <laughs> Let me check what time it is really quick. Say they have. Alright. Anyways, hello. My name's Ian. Thanks for clicking on the video if you randomly did. We're playing Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Uh, we've just been knocking out quests. We defeated the knight last time and now we're getting ready. Or we, we explore the crypt, found some loot in there. And this time, we're trying to complete the main quest. But first, I would like to sell some stuff. I would also like the game to... <laughs> not lag. But you know, it's in early access, it happens. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Like, when you're in an enclosed space in this game, um, you actually end up with... Uh, so much more... Um, like, of a frame rate. Okay, we're selling stuff. I don't... I mean, that's pretty cool. So I don't need this. I no longer need this. Just emptying out my inventory before we loot. Also, the person who beeps their horn outside of my car window, or house apartment window every day, is becoming my villain. Um, while I'm doing, you know, here, while we're doing this, I'll complain. So, we live in an apartment, downtown Atlanta, and there's an apartment complex across the street from us. And, um, every day, somebody who lives next door picks someone up. Not a problem, you know. But, they don't just pick them up. They pull up to their car like they're in an 80s high school romance movie and they beep their horn and they do it multiple times a day and it's not just like a little like toot toot they hold on the horn and they're all like my damn nemesis um this is something so annoying about it and it's like i don't usually mind car horns but there's something about that car horn that makes me want to become the joker okay um the other thing i wanted to do is see if i could craft anything I don't want to steal your wood saw. There we go. Warm coat. I already made one of those. We don't have enough iron ore for that. So we want to be on the lookout for that. And I can't craft anything else, I guess? Let me talk to you really quick. Uh, open shop. Um, how do I know how many arrows I have? Um, I have 31 broken arrows. I want to know how to craft my own arrows eventually in this game. Um, that's broken arrows. You know, we have... 1600 gold. I will buy 30 arrows just to have them, just to make sure. Oh, we only we needed iron ore, right? For this. So if I buy 7 iron ore, I don't know cuz it, it has that grayed out black part next to it. So I don't know if I need something I'm missing, but let me try. Hello again. I would like to buy seven iron ore from you, which is going to be about half my net worth. But if I can get some sick armor, it might really help me out. And it's light. Oh, baby. Okay, hold on. Oh, what the heck? For a sec, I saw like a white flash on my screen. <laughs> We're still good though. Okay. Um, equipment. Armor. Useless garbage. Rusty steel breastplate. Where's my armor? Where's the stuff I just made? Hello? Didn't I just... Didn't I just make this? Hello? <laughs> I 
Oh wait, is that part of the request? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, unforgettable, the Silk Road Creed. Um, pure morning. The, all right, the manor quest. I forgot about that. We got so much stuff to do in this game. The last voyage, drinking buddies, pain relief, druid, <laughs> cursed knight, brother in arm, mom's finest pie, relics, fingerless comb. I swear I had a quest about making that armor. There was that guy who didn't, he wasn't sure if he could make it. Maybe it wasn't a quest. Did I just like mess it up? Main quest, side quest, miscellaneous, completed, failed. Um. I swear I just made that armor. Anyways, you have relics? Oh, add a relic slot. Okay, so I can upgrade stuff. There's a little fruit fly. Retrieve relic. Attach. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of mechanics here I didn't know about. Can I upgrade anything I'm wearing right now? Like my machete? I need money for that. Oh, that would make it so much better. Um. Okay, let me. Sorry, I'm sorry, dude. I keep bothering this guy. Sell. Sell. Um. Okay. All right, we're gonna leave that alone for now. We, we, I really thought I had made that armor, but apparently not. <laughs> okay, so we are going back to Spooky Graveyard. Still kind of annoyed that my armor has disappeared. <laughs> um, okay, so the graveyard was here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I fast travel... Can't fast travel to there. I guess this is the closest I can get to it. And then we want to go this way. There might be some little goblins. There's also this nightmare building that I don't know what's going on here. Whole bunch of wolves. Alright. I was like, how do I let go of the bow if I don't want to fire? <laughs> the wolf is like, excuse me? Oh my god, the frame rate. It's only when I zoom in, too. Okay. Oh, I should have cooked some before I left. I did cook. Let me check something. Options. Display. I mean, my target FPS is not that. It's only 60. But I can't change that for some reason. Um. Let's try turning it down to high and just see if that smooths it out a little bit. Do the zombies come back when I leave? It seems a little smoother. Hmm. 
Okay. So. Because <laughs> we did... Is this the building we did? I don't think this is the building we did last time. <clears throat> we did another one in the graveyard. We're trying to figure out what the source of the undead walking around here is. And the other one was not as big. It, get, it did give me that, um... Were they Greaves? Greaves that gave me... They were one less armor, but a better boost. Or something like that. Okay, there's just a dude chilling there. Let me save real quick. But, um... Yeah, so I have these. Max stamina, but one less armor. Pretty dang good. Um... And then I think, yeah, I unlocked Twin Blade Mastery, which will be really useful. Okay. Hello? Are we cool? Who goes there? Hello. Are you the one responsible for all that racket? People here are trying to rest in peace, damn it. Uh, I'm sorry? You should be. These folks fell into their eternal slumber a long time ago. But some of them have turned out to be very... His nice voice has because... something of Ian McKellen in it. Fault, but we should at least try not to wake them up. I'm telling you, ever since people started burning their dead, it's like they've forgotten proper manners <laughs> I don't like this guy. like this. Um, who are you? My name's Huagok, and I'm the keeper of this place. I look after the dead, or at least try to. It used to be much easier where they stayed in one place. Now, yeah, now they wander around a little bit. Making sure they don't stray too far from the cemetery. But I'm not complaining. A little exercise is good for the body. Um. How long have you lived Truth here? Told, I'm not Is quite he undead? Sure. Has it been a long time since the wave came and swallowed the village? That was when people stopped coming here. It's like the sea washed away the I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm not from this country. I... I don't remember much of what happened afterwards. I, must I think he's dead. He's not dead. Dead? Alive. I mean, as long as you're chilling, I don't really care. I am here. I always have been. And I always will be. Until well, what the, the heck is your I'm service? From my service? Um, do you know what's been happening here? I know here? everything that happens here. If you're looking for some juicy gossip, Becca from the third row south still has no <laughs> idea where her husband is. <laughs> This is good writing. I like this guy. Together, you see, but he never showed up. The scoundrel. Everyone here thinks he got remarried and chose to rest with his second wife. Not me. I think he probably got eaten. Okay, I meant the undead. Oh, that would be Master. He's been at his experiments again. I'm afraid, getting the folks around here all. Okay, we got a necromancer. Agitated. Putting them back to sleep again is going to be such a chore. Who is your master? Well, master is master. He commands the dead. I don't know much else. I'm here to serve, not to ask questions. Okay, what are his experiments? Know. Usual. Glowing chalk, candles, and dead bodies. I even you saw know, what creepy people do. Recently, but they didn't stay long. Is your master's name Slaughter? It might be. Huh. Do you think it's odd that I don't seem to know that? Maybe I forgot. My memory is not what it used to be. Okay, where is he now? You want me to betray his trust that easily? We barely know each other. I Bro, tell you're just chilling here. I just asked a question. Why do you serve Thomas him? to bring back my family. Truth be told, it's been so long that I'm not sure it's even possible anymore. But I'm happy where I am. 
The dead need okay, so he knows too, he's dead. You know. Okay. <laughs> the folks here were forsaken by the living. At least I can make sure they're not lonely. I need to enter the script. Interested in local history, are you? <laughs> After asking oh, all those questions, he's like, oh, you want to visit? Of those who came before us he's not like, oh, you're here to ruin my master's plans. I can let you in. There is a small fee of five gold coins. Okay, no problem. Of the cemetery, of course. It's constant work, as you can clearly see, and my petitions for additional funds seem to have fallen on deaf ears. Um. Yeah, sure, I'll pay. You, kind stranger. <sighs> Those old bones are not what they used to be. Here, just take the key. Be careful, though. There's evil dwelling in those crypts. Oh, and I hope I don't need to remind you not to rob any graves. It's I'll try, but if there's some really good loot, you man, you can't. You might not be able to stop me. Can I read your book? Are you the Swan Knight? Seventy-seven. The Swan Knight wakes up at last from his unconscious state, slowly regaining his senses. He looks around and sees his loyal steed lying motionless nearby. Its chestnut body and golden mane are covered in blood. Its eyes are wide and empty, devoid of life. The knight stands up, and so he says, My steed lies dead, my shield is broken, and armor riddled with holes. As long as my arm is strong enough to lift my sword, I'll not go quietly. As soon as he speaks those words, a wild human war cry comes from the forest, Whoever heard it would have their courage tested. It's the Picts, thinks the Swan Knight. They found me. The savages are running toward him, ready to strike. Their spears raised high. The knight welcomes them without fear. Uh, the first of the Picts leaps to the knight, pointing his spear toward his heart. The knight parries the blow with his blade and then pierces the savage, killing him on the spot and sending his soul to the demons. The second one he pierces through the heart and lung. Blade jutting out the savage's back. The third one tries to cover behind a wooden shield in vain. A powerful blow scatters, shatters the shield, and splits him in half. Ah, okay. So now I've learned some new recipes. Okay, cool. Now, the next step is to survive the crypt. I can see all kinds of enemies on the map. Are you- are you cool? Alright, you're not gonna come to life and slap me, are you? It wouldn't let me pull out my weapons for a second and I was scared? Okay. Just, just mow him down slowly. Oh! The little one is so fast. Okay, okay. I hear someone moving. Alright, save there while we're doing alright. Oh, I see. It's you. I don't want your rusty short sword. It's always weird to me that I can't just see my shield. Uh, I'm gonna save. He told me not to rob any graves, but I gotta see if this does something. Okay. I, 
can't believe that missed. Get out of here, stinky. Is this gonna loop me back around to the beginning? I, having that little extra bit of stamina I have is very nice right now. Okay. How did you get in here? Where'd you come from? Oh my god, there's so many of you. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the beginning. <laughs> As Julie Andrews would say, a very fine place to start. Alright, so... <laughs> Can I get in there? I want to get in there. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I have to come back around from another direction at some point. How did you even get a soul stone? What the heck? Hold on. Damn Avengers. Charge a soul stone with each kill and fully charge the soul stone is destroyed and fully heals players' health and mana. Okay, but does it only do that when I'm wearing it? Because I really don't want to do that right now. That's a cool mechanic, though, for if I'm in trouble out in the wild, I gotta kill, like, ten wolves or something. Okay. Alright. I guess onwards we go. This is big. I'm already kind of lost. I'm, I feel like those things are going to come to life and attack me. Get out of here. What a shot. Turn the corner. Okay, we can still get them. Come here, come here, come here. Oh. I see at least two more. Ah! The lag. Okay, keep it up. Before, these guys were very tough for me, and I am making- killing them substantially faster. Is there anything cool here, is the question. Acorn? I won't steal your acorn. I will take your health potions, though. Is this where I came from? Yo, this place is huge. I have no idea where I am without a map. Okay. Let's go... Lost Knight, run! I heard the creaking and I was like, well, that's not a good sound. Okay. Is this one-handed or two-handed? Let us find out. Two-handed. Does a ton of damage, but I do not... <laughs> I'm not tanky enough, I think. Are you cool? Oh, 
Oh my god. I <laughs> the the frame rate sometimes makes it a little hard to figure out what you're doing. Alright. It's been a while since we locked back. Materia coin Warscard Brigand's helmet. Materia Medica Volume 7 Plants Perilous to the Mind and Body by Sidonius Garan. Belladonna, also known as Deadly Nightshade. According to the legend, in a certain forest there lived a demoness. She took the form of a beautiful raven, raven haired woman with black eyes. Anyone who looked into those eyes dropped dead in an instant. One day, Sir Gawain was traveling to the nearby roads. He was spotted by the local villagers who told him about the dangerous demoness. He polished his shield so meticulously that it gleamed like a mirror. Thus, it prepared. He went to confront the demoness. She tried to kill him with her gaze, but instead he saw her own reflection in his shield and died instantly. So uh, Medusa, where she fell, bushes grew heavy with berries, black and glistening like her eyes. It resembles a small bush with ovate pointed leaves that can grow as big as an adult's palm. Um, the flowers are small and sparse, facing down to the soils of shy. The flowers are purple on the top and golden brown at the bottom. The Pokemon... I don't know why I said Pokemon in my brain. I was, I, I was actually thinking later I might try to record the Poke Rogue game, but my brain said Pokemon instead of fruit. The fruits are big and purple, so dark they're almost black with a distinct sheen that tastes sweet. Belladonna, as per its alternative name of Deadly Nightshade, is highly toxic for an adult. Consuming a dozen berries is enough to be fatal. Three is enough for a child. Not only fruits, but any part of the plant when consumed can easily lead to death. Belladonna poisoning causes a flushing of the face, quick and shallow breathing, nausea, fever, and sweating. The eyes become large and dark, turning the color of the berries. Then comes delusions and hallucinations, walking, waking nightmares as if demons possess the soul, boys into dragging them out in small doses, it helps with the cough. Okay, so we could modify that. I also picked something else up. I thought. Ah, there we go. War Scarred Brigand's Helmet increases my armor at medium and my max stamina, which makes us less heavy. Sick. I gotta get better at using like the poison coatings and stuff too for the harder enemies. Okay. Are we cool? Hello. Careful there! Try not to step in the array. It's all right. He's chill right now. Magic. Very fragile. Are you slaughtered? Me? Of course not. Slaughtered. <laughs> he's like, who the heck do you think I am? Years old. Why would you even ask that? Um. Not many others practice necromancy. Uh, necromancy. Ugh. <laughs> Strong <laughs> word. I do dabble in the dark arts, yes, but I wouldn't call myself that. Um, what would you call yourself? Merely an adept of the darker arts. Slavder was a real necromancer. Fascinating man. Way ahead of his time. Uh, what's so fascinating about it? <laughs> what isn't? He was the first one to experiment with death magic. It wasn't altogether forbidden, but those before him seemed to fear taking that step, either because of misplaced morals or superstition. They did not see, or maybe did not want to see, that death is merely an end, not the end like everyone thinks. Okay, fair enough. Um, what do you mean by that? see the dead, especially those who suffered sudden and violent deaths rarely actually want to leave this world. Nearly everyone has regrets. And those don't go away just because you die. While more willful or vengeful individuals can abandon their humanity and continue as wraiths, most of the others need, um, a bit of a nudge. And then they can go on. 
Of course, uh, at the moment they lack um, cognition. But uh, it's a work in progress. Um, doesn't matter. I need you to stop doing whatever it is you're stop. doing here. What, what I am doing is very important. Besides, I'm hardly hurting anyone. Anyone important, that is. Um, it's so wrong, I can't let you continue. I guess you have a point. I can let you live, but you need to find somewhere else for your research. You can leave, you can become a permanent resident. You know they'll send someone else soon, you never get a moment's peace. Think about all the time you're always fighting them. You can live, but you just gotta go somewhere else. But here is perfect! <sighs> you don't understand. <laughs> He's like, come on, man, just be chill about it. Death and misery. It creates a special kind of energy I won't find anywhere else. Um, come on, man. <laughs> I can face anything they throw at me. My servants are capable enough. I cannot leave this place. I will not leave this place. Oh, man. <laughs> Throws out here, throw in haymakers. Um, I don't have any health potions on my. Okay. Load last save. I guess I'm gonna try and use the strength one this time. I gotta remember to put stuff on my quick bar. I should have hit X. I have food cooked too. He seems like a reasonable guy. He's not really doing anything, in my opinion. Well, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> the undead are wandering around, but I don't know, man. They just kind of seem chill, to be honest. Where are my health potions? There they are. Um, And then I do have my new helmet on. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Hello. Careful there. Me. Um. Me. It was they. Me. Okay. Ah, oh, fine. All right, all right, it fine, works. I'll leave. Avalon is a vast land. I'm sure I'll find somewhere else miserable enough. Okay, look at that. We didn't even have to kill him. He seemed fine. I don't know what he was trying to accomplish, but <laughs> it might come back to haunt me later. Um. Yeah, what the heck were you doing in here, dude? Are there more enemies in here left? Okay. I mean, I feel like I should explore in here a little more. And also, because I didn't kill that guy, does that mean the chill dude at the front is still vibing? Well, that sucks. I feel like this guy hits like a, a truck if you let him, but good XP. And now we're back in here. <laughs> now I gotta find my way out. Um, I don't know how to get up there. Are we chill? Oh, you're back. And? We are chill. How did you like our crypts? I always found them impressive. And quite cozy. Uh, they're quite, 
your masters, they look quite ah, populated. Yes. Many important people lie buried there. Or walk about, I guess. I'll admit it's not the best moment for visiting. Usually, it's a lot less lively. He's an interesting he? person. I couldn't tell. I don't mean any offense. He's like all living people all look the same, the same to, me. to me. Every one of them thinks they're reinventing death or breaking the circle of life. And the only thing they're doing is disturbing some honest folk in their rest. Um, are you saying, why do you serve them? I don't have much choice, do I? But I don't mind the service. I like being around the dead. It's just the constant cleanup that gets to you after a while. Drop I'll leave by you to sometime. It. I always accept donations. Drop by some. Okay. All right. Well, not too bad. Cleared out the cursed crypt. So now, will that let me get back, like, do more of the main plot? Not that I necessarily want to do the main plot right now. But, um, I think, you know, some of the mechanics of the keep I can't necessarily get to because I wasn't allowed to go see that guy, whatever his name was. We've been in there for a pretty long time. Okay. There's a question mark on the map? Hold on, let me save real quick. <laughs> Alright, what's going on over here? Except for Bambi. There's a lot of enemies over there, it says. Where'd you come from? Sir, you scared me. Uh, dear, are you aggro? Hunter's camp. Hey, Hunter, do you know there's a deer standing right beside you? Alright, we're loaded in. Hello. Oh, a new face. I haven't seen you before. Uh... I'm just passing through. And I'm in the woods. Is that how you want to talk? You're Mark? It depends on who's asking and why. I'm told this pin says who I am and every keeper who sees it is supposed to offer me help. Yes, it's pretty. I know what it means. And I'm pretty sure I know where it came from. Then you know more than I do. That's for sure. All you need to do the is music take a walk makes around this place instead of sitting on your ass inside the horns like the other keepers. You say I'm supposed to offer you help? Well then, do you have questions? You can see I have plenty of time. It would be nice to talk to someone who's not a keeper. I don't meet okay. many outsiders. Okay, he seems like he's days. chill now. <laughs> so, hello, I'm Marg. A hunter in the service of the Horns of the South. Um. Anything interesting around interesting here? Around here, west of Jeez, here, you'll like find the whole the world is cursed, village. man. It was once the beating heart of this region. If you go northeast, you're bound to reach the Archspire. It's worth seeing its glory with your own eyes. Uh, what's the story of the sunken village? It's long and glorious, but it doesn't end well. The Horns of the South were in the lore part of this, this recording. We had our own marketplace, artisans, and the best cuisine in the region. The rich and the mighty of Camelot came here in droves and left mountains of gold behind. Those with some decorum would pay their respects at the tomb of our keep's founder, Seawall Firstfoot. And then came the flood, or rather, a wave, angry and monstrous. It swept away the entire village along with all the inhabitants. Some people say the druids were responsible. 
I'd be more inclined to think that the village it's Florida. Was built they in built the uh, they built Florida would end up underwater. Do you think the new village, new village is safer? Is between the rocks at the foot of a cliff instead of on a beach that's exposed from all sides, it's definitely safer. We can only hope that by rebuilding what we lost, we'll regain our former glory. Whether under Camelot's banner or any other, the people of the South deserve their own place. Tell me about There's the arch fire. No one knows where it came Just from. Just a big or old what its arch. Purposes. Everyone has their own theory, except me. I just enjoy looking at it. You should too. Can you, you teach aim, me how to hunt? And then you shoot. Always sneak from upwind. That's about it. But I never refuse those who want to learn. Tell me about yourself. Mm, no. <laughs> uh. I was just trying to make conversation. I respect your candor. You need to understand that when someone enlists with the Horns of the South, he leaves his former self outside the walls of the Keep. His old life loses all meaning. If someone comes here and gets political, well, they'll end up disappointed. I don't know if you're aware, but becoming the captain is a curse for any true Keeper. It's not the honor others on Avalon seem to think it is. Okay. How so? Because the captain answers to Camelot and its representative, Galahad. Did so we hear Galahad was really bloodthirsty earlier? Whether he likes it or not. And the current Galahad is a real piece of shit. He hangs people oh, under so any Galahad is a title. Or none at all. He sows terror. I have no respect for that man. Um, why do they let you why stay outside? Why do you think the meat-loving captain of the Horns of the South allows his hunter to hunt? Maybe I don't have a beautiful shiny pin like yours. But everyone here knows me. Besides, the, uh, I wouldn't let them is making my CPU sound anyway. like a jet. I'm the hunter for a reason. What's prowling As around monsters, here? We have drowners and a few Brindelow's dens. And if you ever end up in a cave, beware of the flame gobblers. Oh, that guy and I've noticed You're an right. old influx of the undead from the old cemetery. They've always been there. But at the moment, it seems like there are a lot more than usual. Anything I'm self-sufficient enough out? not to have to ask for help. However, I suppose I could help you share some of the things I found during my hunts. That would be very nice. Death from a butt hole. Oh, different kinds of arrows. These are expensive. I'm going to buy them now while I have money. Okay. You would have to see for yourself how many different kinds of freaks were just to spawn. Of course, you'd probably take them up on close to the sword, but why risk your hide? Use arrows. Okay. So now I know how to make some cool stuff. My question about this game is now that I, I know how to make this stuff, can I just sell the books? All right, let's go back. We're going to sleep and then we'll turn in our quest and that'd be a perfect pausing place. We will have made a lot of progress. Um, we don't probably necessarily have to sleep, but we've been crawling around in the caves for a while. I think our character deserves it. Okay, so we want to sleep until 8 a.m. And then I think it's the guy standing by Excalibur who, who uh, wants to talk about this stuff. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so we go up here. And you were around this corner, I think? About the Forgotten yeah. Cemetery. Did you find out what's been happening out there? The necromancer was conducting experiments. He's Great. not your problem anymore. Necromancer. Just what we needed. It wasn't the dark druid from the He's legend. like, it wasn't the curse, was it? Uh... No, but he was following in his footsteps. Good thing you got rid of him then. 
We already have the Dal Riada almost in our doorstep. We don't need an army of the undead on top of that. You did well. Maybe it's not so bad having you here. Um, can I see the captain now? After that little stunt you pulled? No. You're capable and eager, but you seem unable to follow simple orders. How can I trust that you won't do something we both regret what, what stunt? if I let you see the captain? I sense you have yes, another job for me. I do. But this one's dangerous. Some time ago, I sent one of my men out to bring back a deserter. But he's been gone a while, and there's no sign of him. So now, I need someone to find both of them. And I'm not sending any more of my own men. Uh, where should I start looking? My best guess would be somewhere near the abandoned stronghold far to the north. But beware. Our men on the walls are convinced they'd seen dense clouds of the weirdness forming near that. Oh, so you're sending place. me into a literal hellscape. Can you it promise? It's not an easy task. So yes, if you make it back, that will be more than enough to prove your resolve. Okay. Um. Okay, we'll we're we'll asking some if questions you later. Rest, you can sleep in the barracks. Play in a royal chamber. But it's better to sleep under a roof than under the stars, right? Especially in this horrible weather. Alright, good progress. Let me save real quick. This might be the perfect stopping place. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Um. All right. Well. Yeah. All right. This is perfect. Um. So, how far north are we talking? When you say far north, is that is it the lens in the eye of the sage? The abandoned stronghold. But is this the abandoned stronghold? What is this? <laughs> These lands shall be unraveled at later dates. Okay. Anyways, so I think next time, like, we can just go down the list. I want to do side quests, though. Um. Like, I would, I would like to figure out what to do with this. Like, where is Sigibald? <laughs> um. Because he was on the wall. Maybe he only shows up at night. Real quick, let's take a nap. Let's go see if Sigibald's up there. And then, if not, then we'll, we'll start next time and try and figure out how to knock off that quest. God, um, because he is a ghost, so. So if we go, like, yeah, like that late. Excuse me, you're in my bed. <laughs> That's where I was sleeping. Hi, Luna. I know you want attention. My cat's down here screaming. Everything's loaded in, it's trying. Alright, so I think he was up here somewhere, wasn't he? Does the sun, like, never fully set here? Your keeper, Dan. And then there was the guy over here who told me about the armor. Um, or was Sigibald, like, did I platform to him? Was it that guy? Hold on. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, 
Game's loading back in. Whoop. So... Do I have to go... Like, I think... I went... In here and then up? Um, like, was it you? No, you're a Hoyt. Okay. Where the heck did I find <laughs> Sigibald? I feel like he was up on the ramparts somewhere. Maybe I have to talk to the bartender some more about him being spooky. Bloody seagulls! Oh, God. Can you hear he me? Hates you, seagulls. You, you flying vermin! Just try landing here and I'll pluck your asses clean. A keep by the sea. What a great idea that was. And what do you want? Why do you hate seagulls? I'm fixated. Me! Oh, you didn't see what they did to me a week ago. I was just standing watch as usual, and then, suddenly, splat. A dozen of them flying overhead, screeching, shitting, and whatnot. So, I yelled what I think about them, shaking my fist. And then another four, Well, now you're splat, at war with them. And they kept screeching. I tell you, His voice actor is much more me. intense than some of the I other spent ones. I spent all night cleaning my armor. Sewell didn't think it through when he decided where to put the keep. Mark my words. Um, I guess I didn't like and what you said like about I don't like how them. you seem to think I'm a fool. So, what now? Should I shit on you for that? Bro, I don't think out. so. I once managed to shoot a few. I thought they'd learned their lesson and wouldn't be flying over here anymore. And guess what they did? They kept shitting with increased force. Like, they're planning it. Vengeance they are, because you started a war with them. I need to try a different strategy. Find something that will make them feel real terror. Like the way crows are afraid of scarecrows in fields, I'm sure seagulls also have something that scares them. We just need to find out what it is. Um, I can help you out. Thank you. I just need you to bring me some kind of a bird scarer. They'll learn their lesson and keep away from me. Who might know about know. seagulls? I'm not sure if there's anyone crazy enough to take up something like this. But there is one guy in the museum, Riderick. He's supposed to know everything. Oh, like he went to school. He's smart. Irrational hatred. Okay. Sigibald, where are you? Are you Sigibald? No, you're Falco. There's too, there's too many people. Um. Holy crap. I didn't realize this place went up this high. Homeland's keepsake. Increases your encumbrance limit by 25. How do I put that on? Or is... Oh, I see. So this... Magic armor. Soul stone. For now, we'll put that on. Alright, um... Yeah, I got no idea where Sigibald is. <laughs> I've lost him forever. We are on the roof, though. Ow. <laughs> okay, um... Let me just find my way down. 
Or at least back to where I know where I am. Tiny little house? The heck is that? Oh god. <laughs> Alright, let me save. Let's just see if we can do this. I've done it. And we're back down here. Okay. Well, I don't know where Sigibald is, but for now, we'll stop here. If you've uh, been hanging out, thanks for watching. You know, check out our other stuff and we'll keep going. Just keep knocking outside quests in Avalon. But that's all for now.